In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get the duration to reach your destination and also how to calculate the distance between your source and destination. So there are two ways to calculate the distance. You can do it using the distance between method of location class or you can use the directions API. But for the duration, you need the directions API. So first I'm going to show you how to get the distance using that distance between method. So open your XML file, activity maps.xml file. And here I'm going to add a button. So add one button here. And I'm going to name it 2. And for the ID, I'm going to write B2. And the on click value is on click. So what is going to happen is, so there will be a marker at your current location. And I'm going to make that marker draggable when you click on that marker. And then the user can drag it to wherever he wants to set as a destination. After that, the user can click on the two button and then it will display the duration and the distance in the info window of that marker. So open the maps activity .java file and here to use the marker click listener and marker drag listener, we need to add two classes here. So write Google map dot on marker click listener and google map dot on marker drag listener and then click alt enter and click on implement methods and click ok then these four methods will get added here the first one that is on marker click is just for the marker click listener and the other three methods are for the marker drag listener we are not going to use the drag start and on marker drag methods we are just going to use the on marker click and on marker drag end methods. And I'm going to create two class variables here. So write double end latitude and end longitude. So the latitude and longitude variables will hold our current location and the end latitude and end longitude values will hold our destinations location. So we need to create one more case in our onclick method. So write case r.id.b2. This will be for our two button that we just added. And we'll write something here after some time. First, go to the on marker click method. Here, when the user clicks on the marker, we need to make it draggable. For that, write marker dot set draggable and pass true here that will make the marker draggable after the user drags the marker to the destination the user will click on the to button and then we need to calculate the distance so after the user is done dragging the marker to the destination we need to set the latitude and longitude of that marker so write end latitude equals marker dot get position dot latitude and same for the longitude. So write end longitude equals marker dot get position dot longitude. Now go to the on map ready method. You can search it. And at the end, write m map dot set on marker click listener and on marker drag listener. And for both of them, pass this. Then go to the onclick method. And here in the case r.id.b2, when the user clicks on that button, we'll clear the map first, mmap.clear. And then we'll add another marker in the same position with the information window. So to add the marker, we need to create marker options. So write marker options marker options equals new marker options and we'll set the position as dot position uh, new lat lang and pass the end latitude and end longitude values then write marker options dot title 
we'll write destination and marker options dot draggable true so the user will be able to drag it again marker options dot snippet and we are going to add the distance here but before that we need to calculate the distance so to calculate the distance write location dot distance between and it's taking five parameters start latitude start longitude end latitude end longitude and float results array so for the start values it is latitude and longitude in our case and then pass the end latitude and end longitude and for the results array just write results and we'll create it before the statement so write float results array equals new float and pass 10 here it should be results after this we can set the snippet so write marker options dot snippet and here write distance equals and pass the results zero and then we need to add this marker to our map so write m map dot add marker and pass the marker options and write break now we can run and test it so make sure that you have connected your phone and USB debugging is enabled on your phone. Then click OK. So as you can see, the marker is at your current location and you can drag the marker at the position. Then click on the two button. It will display the distance. And the distance is in meters. So this is it for today. In the next video, I'm going to use directions API and then we will display the distance using the directions API and also the duration to reach the destination. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Thank you.